Yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing my essential Justice League of America comic book list. Now, out of all the essential comic book lists that I'm going to be doing, the Justice League of America has to be the toughest. Why? Well, two reasons. One is there's so many Justice League stories out there, and so many of them are good, that it's hard to condense down a list of the essential must-haves. Because there's going to be a lot of things that I'm not going to put on the list that deserve to be on there. Second thing is that the Justice League of America's continuity is a little bit different from that, say, of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, so on and so forth. It's changed over the years, but not so much. And there's been many different Justice League incarnations that I thought before actually jumping into this essential list that I would actually talk about the various incarnations of the team. Kind of clarify any issues that may arise while looking at these lists. As always, this essential comic book list is going to consist of three separate lists. The first one is a classic Justice League of America comic book list, which will showcase stories that you can just pick up, read, put down, and not have to worry about any continuity or anything that comes before or after. They're just classic. Then we're going to have the current Justice League of America comic book list. If you want to get into the stuff that's happening right now with Justice League, well, that's the list to go to, because it's all going to deal with the current stuff now, not all the stuff way back in the day. And then finally, the big one, the essential Justice League comic book list, which is going to deal with, well, everything Justice League, if you want to get into it. The essentials must have if you're going to start reading Justice League. So with that said, let's talk a little bit about Justice League's continuity and its various incarnations. Now, the Justice League of America, unlike other things in comic books, has a pretty solid continuity in that everything in its entire run is canon. Now, there has been a few changes here and there with some retcons and then undoing the retcons, but as of now, everything from its inception in the 1960s all the way up till now is canon, with a few exceptions. For example, after the Crisis on Infinite Earths, they had JLA Year One, which basically retold the origins of the Justice League. However, Infinite Crisis changed all that, removing JLA Year One and restoring the original origins of the Justice League. Allow me to explain. The JLA Year One Origins was Black Canary, Aquaman, Green Lantern, Flash, and Martian Manhunter as the creators of the Justice League. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman really didn't have any part in it. However, after the Infinite Crisis, that story was no longer canon, and the original origin of the Justice League, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash, and Martian Manhunter, along with the Aquaman as the original members, became canon again. So, everything from the 60s all the way up to now is canon. It may be out of date, it may need to be revised, there's no denying that, but all of it is still considered canon history for the Justice League of America, which is unique because with a lot of combo characters, they kind of retcon all, all that stuff back in the day and kind of build off new stories, but the Justice League is relatively the same with its history. Mind you, it's out of date and it does need to be cleaned up. They should do a Justice League uh, Silver. I would call it Justice League Silver. They should do a comic book series where they take all the old stories from the original Justice League run and modernize it, update it, make it a little bit more ex uh, accessible for new readers. But, with that said, there's also been various different Justice League incarnations. Depending on how you're going to go about it, there's been about four or five. It depends on if you count Justice League of Detroit. The first Justice League team would be its Justice League of America. It's the original team with Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, and Flash as the original members and various different other members jumping on like Black Canary, uh, Green Arrow, Hawkman, Adam, Zatanna, uh, Hawk Girl, Red Tornado, so on and so forth. This team stuck together until right about before the Infinite Crisis. 
then it became Justice League Detroit. That could be considered another incarnation, but I don't count it because it didn't have its own comic book series. It was just a continuation of the current Justice League material. So the first Justice League of America team was simply called the Justice League of America. After the Crisis on Infinite Earths, Batman, along with Martian Manhunter, thought it would be a good idea to reform the Justice League with some new members. And the next incarnation was known as the Justice League International. Now, I'm not going to be including the Justice League International in this essential comic book list. Why? Well, it's not because I don't like the Justice League International. Ha! Far from it. I love JLI. But JLI is essentially its own separate comic. It's not Justice League in, in uh, America. It's Justice League International. It is its own series. So to include it in Justice League in America, a central comic book list, could happen, but I'm going to avoid confusion and just leave it out. If you want to read anything Justice League International, just buy the series. After the Justice League International fell apart, the new Justice League of America rose, known simply as JLA, although in the comic they called themselves Justice League of America. This consisted of founding members Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Green, uh, Martian Manhunter, with new members Flash, Wally West, and Green Lantern Kyle. Um, this JLTA team lasted all the way up until the Infinite Crisis, and that's where it kind of fell apart. After the Infinite Crisis, the Justice League of America reformed again, calling itself, once again, the Justice League of America. This team consisted of some veterans, such as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Hal Jordan as Green Lantern, and eventually Wally West as a Flash, as well as introducing new members, such as Red Arrow, the new Hawk Girl, Firestorm, Vixen, Black Lightning, so on and so forth. With some other members that have been part of the team, such as Black Canary, Zatanna, Red Tornado, jumping in and out. And then finally, that team kind of falls apart, but before it completely dissolves, its shambles, the mess that was left from it, got picked up into the current Justice League of America team, which is always fluctuating in members, but the core four members tend to be Batman, Dick Grayson, Donna Troy, Kong Gorilla, and Starman, number four? Three or four? I'm not big on the Starman stuff, but this Justice League of America team is constantly shifting. Supergirl has joined it. Uh, Jesse Quick has joined it. I believe they're going to have a lantern join it. Actually, one of the Blue Lanterns, uh, St. Uh, Saint Walker, or I forget his name, but this team is constantly fluctuating in members, so... This is kind of an incarnation of the Justice League team. I count it because it's like a completely new team. It's just under the same Justice League title. So those are the various incarnations of the teams. Keep that in mind when I actually go through all these comic book lists. So with that said, let's jump into the first list, the classic Justice League of America comic book list. On to the classic Justice League of America comic book list. As stated before, the classic Justice League list is stories of the Justice League that you can just pick up, read, put down, and enjoy. You don't need to know anything that comes before or after for these stories. They're just great Justice League stories that you can read and enjoy. Plain, flat, and simple. Starting things off is something that I highly recommend to anyone that wants to get into Justice League, especially people that want classic Justice League stories, and that would be the Showcase Presents Justice League of America comic book series. This deals with the first incarnation of the Justice League team, and it basically follows them throughout its whole entire original inception. There's been five volumes right now, and I believe they're actually starting on the sixth volume. So, so far they've covered up from the uh, 1960 all the way up to the mid 70s. And this is great for multiple different reasons. One is that it is the Justice League America at its best. The core seven members going up against larger than life situations, larger than life enemies, dealing them in larger than life ways. Uh, they can be campy sometimes, but they're overall good stories. Um, in addition to that, you really get to see the evolution of the Justice League of America team, as well as the DC Universe, seeing it evolve from the campy Silver Age into the much more serious Bronze Age, and even flowing into the modern continuity if this series keeps on going. 
Um, it collects all the issues in chronological order. A lot of issues that are hard to get individually and that are not collected in much other things. Um, you can get this series in the archive editions, but I recommend going for the Showcase Presents. It's a lot more affordable. It goes a lot further in the Justice League of America collection. Uh, the only disadvantage is they're black and white. They don't have it in color, but it's still well worth it because if you really want classic Justice League of America stories, that's where to go. So the Showcase Presents Justice League of America series, really great series. And even the campy stories are incredibly fun to read. Next is the third incarnation of the Justice League team, depending on how you keep count. Would uh, start things off with Justice League of America New World Order. The Justice League of America has just reunited and they just reunited in time because a group of superhuman heroes, individuals, have come to Earth and, well, things seem a little shady with them. You really get to see the Justice League work best here. Again, they stick to the formula of going up against larger-than-life superheroes and larger-than-life events, doing larger-than-life things. It's really great formula. Grant Morrison had this down very nicely. I definitely recommend New World Order. It's a great standalone story that's really fun to read. Um, anyone that is a fan of the Justice League of America or any of these teammates uh, will enjoy this book. Uh, next is Justice League of America Rock of Ages. Uh, Rock of Ages is a fun story for many different reasons. Uh, one is it's a very lay story, and it can be a heavy read at times. You might actually have to go through this twice to really catch everything. Um, however, what's really great about this story is it focuses on Green Lantern, Flash, and Aquaman as the main characters more than anyone else. Um, it's a story where the Justice League got thrust into a future where Darkseid has won. Sounds similar to Final Crisis in a way. But this is a little bit better than Final Crisis in the concept of the story. It's well done, well handled, and it's just overall a good story. And you see a little Injustice League in there too. So Justice League of America, Rock of Ages. It can be a heavy story to read, but definitely something that's worth reading. Moving up on the list is Justice League of America, Justice for All. I really like this trade because it's individual stories, the Justice League of America going up against the Shaggy Man, Amazo, and even teaming up with the Justice Society, which is a nice throwback to the old Justice Society comics, team-ups with the Justice League of America that you'll see in the Showcase Presents. Um, overall, good stories, fun stories, definitely a good recommendation. Uh, stuff that you can pick up, read, enjoy, and put down. So, Justice League of America, justice for all. Uh, moving into a very heavy story, and when I mean very layered, I mean very layered. Uh, but the two-volume series, Justice League of America, Obsidian Age. Here is volume one, and here is volume two. Um, Obsidian Age is a story that centers around Aquaman and a new group of villainous individuals who want to alter the courts of history and, in addition, alter the Justice League. Um, and in this, the Justice League may not make it out unscathed. Uh, it's a great story with uh, part of the story set in modern time, part of it set in the past, and it really runs simultaneously with each other. Uh, this is something that you definitely should read twice in order to really catch everything similar to Rock of Ages, but to us on a whole, it's a fantastic story that will catch you by surprise. So Rock of Ages, Volume 1, oh no, Obsidian Age, Volume 1 and 2. Moving on, skipping far ahead would be Justice League of America, The Tornado's Path. Uh, this is the rebirth of the Justice League team after the Infinite Crisis. Uh, just on a whole, a really good story of the Justice League going up against Solomon Grundy and also, uh, you know, throwing the Red Tornadoes uh, in there with a really good story for him. It's just an overall fun story. Uh, great art by Ed Benz and, yeah, definitely recommend picking up. Moving on a little bit would be Justice League of America Second Coming. Uh, you know what I like about Second Coming is that it got the formula right for the second series of Justice League America Volume 2 that they were really missing a lot in the series, and that's just great action. 
it, you know, they go up against a new Amazo, and the fight is really good. And just on a whole, it's a fun story. Second coming, um, definitely something worth picking up. And then last on the list of the classic stories would be the, uh, from the more current series, Justice League of America, Dark Things. Uh, the Justice League of America team has reformed, um, however, it's not quite as it was beforehand, and now they have to work together to ensure that Jade and her father don't get possessed by, well, an evil alien entity. That is familiar to both of them. Uh, just on a whole, a fun story, um, really is getting the Justice League comic back on track, but on a whole, it's something that you can pick up, read, and enjoy. So, there we go, Justice League of America Dark Things. So, that is the classic essential comic book list, stories that you can just pick up, read, and go. Let's get on to the modern comic book list. On to the modern, current Justice League of America comic book list. This is a list of individuals that just want to deal with the stuff going on with Justice League right now. Now, I have to say there's going to be a few comics on this list that aren't necessarily good comics. Some of them are downright disgustingly bad. But in order to enjoy and understand what's going on in the Justice League right now, you're going to have to deal with it. So, might as well jump right into it. Starting things off, and this is right after the Infinite Crisis, Justice League of America Tornado's Path. The Justice League of America is reformed with a new team, and are they stronger than ever? Well, you're just going to have to read and see. Tornado's Path. Moving on would be Justice League of America Lightning Saga. Not only is this story good for understanding the Justice League, but it's a nice team-up story with the Justice Society and the Legion of Superheroes. Um, so, Lightning Saga. Check it out. Moving on would be Justice League of America, the Injustice League. Uh, what happens when all the villains form a Justice League of America team themselves, only, well, they're not for justice. They're for injustice. Yes, injustice. Uh, good story uh, in the fact that it's just villains versus heroes, and it's nice in that. Moving on would be Justice League of America Sanctuary. All these villains want Sanctuary, and they look for it for the Justice League. Um, not overly that impressive of a story, but still something that you should think about picking up. So, Justice League of America Sanctuary. Uh, moving on to a story that we had on the previous list, Justice League of America Sucking Coming. Uh, same thing as I said beforehand, it's just Amazo versus the Justice League, and it is amazing. Then we're moving on to what is the end of this incarnation of the Cheese uh, team, Justice League of America When Worlds Collide. You get to see the team kind of fall apart here. Batman goes into the R.I.P. stuff, Superman goes off to New Krypton, and Wonder Woman just doesn't want to deal with the rest of them anymore. Justice League of America When Worlds Collide. Not good. And here's the downright disgusting stuff. Justice League, cry for justice. My god, is this story horrible. If it wasn't for the fact that it really does affect the Justice League, I would never recommend this story. But the only reason why I would recommend it, the only reason, this is an atrocious story, I'm telling you, F-. minus. But, but, it does affect the Justice League, and you might need to pick it up to understand why the Justice League has changed, why things are going on the way they are in the comics. Ugh, such a bad book. But yes, Justice League of America, Cry for Justice. And if you, for some morbid reason, want to continue the Justice League, Cry for Justice shit, there is Justice League, Rise of Arsenal, or uh, Rise of Fall. It's not necessary, but I did throw it in there because it kind of keeps the pace going. Uh, but you really don't absolutely need to read this. I'm just throwing it in there as a sequel. Uh, something to continue such a horrific story. And the last two trades that you should pick up is Justice League of America Team History. Not overly that great of a story. However, however, it does start off the new Justice League team. And then finally, Justice League of America Dark Things, which seems to be getting the Justice League of America right. It seems to actually understand the Justice League of America team now. So that is the modern 
Justice League of America, the current Justice League of America essential list. Let's go on to the big one. Well, we still have time. The big Justice League of America comic book list. Okay, on to the big one. The essential Justice League of America comic book list. Now, mind you, this is big. Now, there's a lot of stuff to read in this, but if you're really committed to the Justice League of America, if you really want to divulge into this comic, this is the list that you want to go to. So, you guys ready? Let's do this. Starting things off, once again, is the Showcase Presents Justice League of America. Uh, this is the start to the team. I cannot recommend this material enough. Listen to me. I cannot recommend this material enough. This is the original inception of the Justice League team, and this is really where you're going to get the foundation of what the Justice League of America is. You can start at other points, but really, this is the best place to start. Mind you, some of the stories can be campy, but it's worth it because they evolve into very serious stories that just, well, kick ass. So, Showcase presents Justice League of America. Uh, five volumes so far, definitely a highly recommended comic book series. Moving on would be Justice League of America New World Order. The new inception of the team, the start. Uh, you could technically go with Midsummer Night, but that was a really bad story. Um, really, New World Order is where you should start things off on. You're going to notice I'm going to go through a lot of Grant Morrison's run on Justice League of America, which is my favorite material he's ever done, even more so than his Batman. Uh, but Justice League of America, America Dreams, uh, Volume 2 and the new Justice League of America, uh, they go up against some old foes, including the key, as well as getting uh, some new additions to their team. Uh, Justice League of America, Rock of Ages, once again, good story, very layered, uh, very detailed, very fun. JLA, Rock of Ages. Uh, then we're going to go into Justice League of America, JLA, Strength in Numbers. Uh, the Justice League of America goes up against a new enemy, Prometheus, who is a total badass. And in addition to that, they get some new members to their teams. Uh, will these new members fit in? Who will stay? Who will leave? Justice League of America, Justice for All. Or JLA, Justice for All. Same thing as I said beforehand. Uh, they go up against Shaggy Man, a team up with the Just Justice Society. And they also go up against Amazo. Amazing. Justice League of America, JLA, World War III. Uh, the story is okay. It could be a little bit better, but it is something that I do recommend picking up. It's the last of Grant Morrison's run on Justice League, and it's just overall an okay story. Looking back on it, I have pretty fond memories with it. I may reread it, but it, it was definitely the weakest out of his stories. Justice League of America, JLA, Tower of Babel. What happens when Batman versus the Justice League? Well, I think the cover says it all. But it's not really Batman. More or less, what happens when one of Batman's enemies gets a hold of his secret files on the Justice League and destroys the Justice League? Will the Justice League be able to forgive Batman? Well, you'll know in Justice League Divided We Fall. Because that is where it is the conclusion of the... Tower of Babel story. You see what happens with Batman, if the Justice League forgive them, and if they can move on from where they are now. Then is Justice League Terra Incognito. Uh, this is a good story because it's the Justice League uh, going up against the White Martians once again, and it's a fun story in that. Uh, just overall a fun story. Uh, once again, throwing in the hat is Justice League of America, JLA, The Obsidian Age, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, great story, well-told story, very layered, very nice. Pick it up, you'll enjoy it. Then we have Identity Crisis. Uh, not a Justice League story, but it shakes up the Justice League for a long time. It affects a lot of people in the DC Universe, but it also affects the Justice League, and it's definitely a recommendation. Uh, some stuff happens in this story that I don't like, but the writing is actually really good. So, uh, check it out, Identity Crisis. And coming out of Identity Crisis, a actually a 
a sequel of sorts to it, which would be Crisis of Conscience. Uh, what happens when Batman finds out what happened during Identity Crisis, and he brings his wrath upon the Justice League? Well, you're just going to have to read and see. Moving on is Justice League of America, JLA, A World Without the Justice League. The Justice League falls apart, and you get to see it in this story. What's left when there is no one left? Well, you'll see. Moving on is Infinite Crisis. Shakes up the DC Universe, but also affects the Justice League. You really get to see the tension between the Trinity in here. And also, it's just a big story for the DC Universe in general. But I do recommend it, if not for the DC Universe, then for the Justice League of America. Tornado's Path. Reintroducing the Justice League after... The Infinite Crisis, the new team forms with Green Lantern, Black Canary, Wonder Woman, Superman, Hawk Girl, Black Lightning, Red Arrow, Vixen, Red Tornado, and of course, the Batman. Which moves in to Justice League of America, Lightning Saga. The great thing about this is this clears up all the continuity changes um, after the Infinite Crisis because it does a lot of flashbacks, which is a nice... Justice League story. Uh, but on the whole, it's a fun Justice League story. Is it the best? No, but it's definitely something I recommend. And then we're just going to go through these real quickly. In Justice League, Sanctuary, Second Coming, <laughs> Coming, uh, When Worlds Collide, which then moves into Final Crisis. Final Crisis. Uh, this definitely mixes up the Justice League because after this, the Justice League is never the same. Um, the, the most important person, Batman, is taken away. Okay, that sounds pretty bad, but really, Batman and Martian Manhunter's death greatly affects the Justice League, and you're going to see it in... Ugh, ugh, cry for justice. Let's just move on. And then finally, the last two trades on the essential Justice League list is the current stuff, which would be Team History... And Dark Things. So that is the essential Justice League comic book list. Uh, Justice League of America is a great comic book series, which is, on a whole, for the most part, consistently good. There is a few hiccups here and there, but it's definitely something that's worth checking out. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, the next essential comic book list that I am going to do will probably be Wonder Woman. But we will see I'm teetering on Wonder Woman in Teen Titans. Uh, let me know if there's one in particular you'd rather see over the other. So that said, this is Andrew saying peace out for now.